Hi, it's so great you're watching the FireRender for GPU technology preview video. In this video, I will talk about how we can adjust in real time our physical sky within FireRender for GPU. We're using our new FireRender for GPU Active Shade Renderer. And this is GPU based, so we have a, a GPU card here, an NVIDIA card, and we will use that for a preview rendering in real time. So for that, I'm going to activate our Active Shade. And as you can see, the first thing you will notice is you get instant feedback. There is no uh, delay, there's no DOS box popping up, transferring data and, and all this blah 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 you usually see on, on other systems. It just works right within 3 Studio Max. And we, we are really proud that we can integrate our GPU technology so tight into a 3 Studio Max workflow. Um, so let me now bring up our physical sky settings and uh, we can adjust now any parameter of our physical sky and you will get real-time feedback. So if we adjust the time of day, so let's say 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and we go down, oh, I can see here, I already adjusted that, so I'll turn it back, so that's 12 o'clock, so noon, you can see it in the shadow, that gives you an indication, and now we are going to sunset time, and now the sun is going down. So we can adjust that really nice, and you get immediate feedback, so there's no more guessing how would the light situation look like, where's the shadow falling, and, and all this kind of stuff, it instantly gives you feedback, and remember this is a fully global illumination, physical sky, glass, reflections, refractions. So all the expensive ray tracing stuff is going on here. Let me just get that here. So we have reflections, we have glass, refractions, everything going on here in real time. And we can adjust really nicely everything we want here in real time. Let me just go back and play a little bit with the time of day. Now I'm going much slower through the day, so I can adjust the sun coming down and go back, down, go back. And you can see how nicely the shadow responds. So full control of your physical sky now in real time, including everything, GI, ray tracing, reflections, refractions. And that works with all parameters. So you can say, okay, I want to adjust the intensity of the sunlight. Let's increase that. Now the sunlight is stronger. Let me just go back today so that you will see how the sunlight is now. So every parameter, every single parameter you adjust here will give you real-time feedback. And there's more uh, we support with our real-time. And there's other videos uh, I'm going to upload soon as well that will explain more features. Another thing in uh, Final Render is when you see here the compass, we can also interact with objects in the scene. So we can go zoom into our compass. Let me just select the compass. That just tells us where's north, where's south. We can uh, adjust the uh, position of the sun just by rotating an object in 3D Studio Max. Let me just bring down the sun again so that we see the sun a little bit. So when I adjust the position, you see the sun is adjusted as, uh, as well. So I can easily rotate the sun because we are now just defining where's south and where's north. As you can see, that's really cool, interactive, fa fast, responsive rendering. It's just... Uh, the way it should be. And you can keep this active shade open and it will render and refine and, and constantly update your, your rendering here. Check out the other videos as well.